Hey guys, it's uh, the racist glitcher here, and I'm just here to address how big of a pussy ass bitch Detriel is. This guy's coming in my comment section like he owns the goddamn place, like he's on fucking his own goddamn turn. Get the fuck out of here, Detriel. I'm here to insult you as a person this time. I'm not here coming after your family or coming after your stupid ass server, which by the way is actually a nice server. It's pretty good. You know, it might be up your alley, but fuck you, Detriel. Detril has no fucking integrity, alright? Throughout the entire course of our conversation, I've been asking him, you know, where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? Where's the fucking evidence, Detriel? Where did I do anything wrong? And he keeps saying, well, you were talking shit in this latest video. And I'm like, but where's the evidence for me to have the ban in the first place, you dumbass? And he's like, uh, well, you insulted my family. Uh, shut the fuck up, alright? You're not that much of a sensitive prick, are you? Yeah, come on, you're not a little pussy. You play Rust, alright? People say tons of fucked up shit in Rust, so don't tell me that triggered you, alright? That was not it, okay? You're not that mad over that. You're mad because you know you don't have shit, alright? And you don't want to fucking show your shit because you're fucking afraid that your pride's gonna be hurt when people realize that you're a fucking liar. Detriel's a fucking liar who doesn't know shit about Rust, and that's the problem. This guy owns a server with over 140 people playing on it, alright? And people think that the admin of that server knows what he's doing. This guy doesn't know shit about the game. When I brought up the invis glitch, he had no fucking clue what he was talking about. He's like, it's a client side glitch. And it's like, okay, Detriel, chill the fuck out. All right, sit down over in that corner where the fucking dunce hat on your fucking head, okay? It's fucking ridiculous. Detriel, I hope you're fucking watching this. And I hope you know that you are fucking idiots. Alright, this entire time I've been playing nice, I've been nice to you, I apologize for something that I shouldn't have said, and I still think I shouldn't have said it, because it was wrong of me. I shouldn't have assumed that your kids would be awful people because of you. Your kids, I'm sure, could, could be great people, okay? But I don't think you're a good person by any means, because multiple times I've been very kind, I've been very nice, and I've apologized for the things that I have done against you, okay? And then I even got accused of fucking dossing this guy, alright? Like, what the fuck? I got accused of doxing and dossing him, okay? And let me tell you this. Do I look like I know how to fucking doss and dox somebody? What the fuck? And like, like let's be real. Doxing is illegal. I don't want to go to jail, fucking detrial. Do you think I'm stupid? Don't get me wrong, man. Like, I'm fucking, like, I'm on the level of autism, but I'm not fucking retarded. I'm not out here going to be like... Yeah, I'm just gonna dox this server over where I can find out where he lives. You live in Portland, man. That's on your fucking profile. If that's the reason you think I doxed him, it's public information. It's right there on his Steam profile. I didn't fucking dox the guy to get that. And you're like, you know his website IP. That's also public information. You can literally just type in his fucking website and do a fucking IP tracker on Google. And, like, that's a legal thing to do. It's like, what you do with that information can be illegal, but the fact that I have that information is not illegal. Once again, fucking Detriel, you're a fucking liar, alright? I, that's all I gotta say. You're a liar, and you're getting all these people to fucking suck your dick because they're your fucking buddies, alright? Some of them brought up some very good points. I think Ern is a brilliant lady, and I think she brought up some good points that were defending you. And I think that she is putting her ass line for you and you're making a fool out of yourself all right and fucking michael in the comment section as well he's bringing up some good points as well and you're still making an ass out of yourself all right everything that they're saying i am agreeing with and i think they have good points and that's the problem is that even though they have good points you are still refuting the only thing that is proving your innocence the evidence the evidence that i actually did anything to you and that's the problem you're over there trying to fucking rally your way around it because you know you're fucking wrong and it's ridiculous you're sitting there like i'm innocent i did nothing my name is detriel shut the fuck up detriel we all know you're a fucking liar all right like uh, multiple times I've been like, can you just show me some evidence, alright? Some evidence that I, I said anything rude to deserve the ban in the first place, or that I was even remotely involved with Tinty and Colton saying racist things that, by the way, weren't racist. They weren't racist at all. They were questioning the, the rules of the server. They were not being racist, alright? And I didn't join in on that at all, because I didn't have a goddamn problem with the rules of the server. I said, I don't really give a shit, so I'm not getting involved, alright? And then I report a bug that was happening, and I, I literally was like, no, it's a random bug, Detriel, and he was about to ban me for that. And then as soon as I was like, no, it's a random bug, we didn't, we didn't have this happen on purpose, 
he then unbans me, and then I'm typing in the Discord, I was like, hey, can we get in the Discord? Uh, you know, I just want to clarify some things, because it seems like, you know, we weren't on the same page. And then he fucking bans me again, because my fucking mates are mad at him. And I go, I am not these people, Detriel. You are banning me, because these people did something you did not like, alright? That's like saying, like, oh, you know, fucking low-income housing, everybody over there is poor. Fuck them, let's burn all of them, you know? Like, fuck you, man, like, you know, like, some of those people are nice. You can't do that, Detriel, that's fucked up. It's, it's just, it's ridiculous. Detriel's on his fucking high horse, like, you, you need to act like an adult. Shut the fuck up, Detriel. I have three jobs and I'm fucking in college, alright? Like, I don't need your shit talking about, like, ooh, you don't know what it's like to be an adult. Shut up, man. I fucking, I work my ass off every day, and I still manage to get content out on a fucking, at least a decent basis, alright? And I'm still not as rude to people as you are, right? I think that's your problem, is that you've been so mean to people your entire life that you think you fucking deserve everything. Calling me entitled when you act like you've got the fucking, like you're the next fucking big thing since sliced bread. Get the hell out of here, Detrio, alright? Oh my god, like, I'm so done with this guy. Like, he fucking, he pretends like he's fucking, like, almighty. Like, ooh, I would never make a mistake. I would never do anything bad. And I even admitted, I was like, you know, everybody makes mistakes, Detrio. Like, if you just own up to it, like, you know, like, we can let it go. Like, that's fine. Like, I made a mistake. You should be able to own up to yourself making that mistake. This guy is such a little bitch, alright? If your skin is so thin that you cannot admit that you did something wrong... Or you cannot admit that you just thought I was a dickhead and you just didn't want to deal with me. Like, I don't, I don't get, I don't get where you're coming from. I just think that he's the biggest pussy I've ever met, alright? He fucking threatened me and then he said, I'll give you my address right now. Detri, I dare you fucking type your address in the comment section, alright? I fucking, I dare you, okay? Like, if you're such a hard ass, you're like, ooh, I'll give you my address and I dare you to come here. I dare you to give me your address, you piece of shit. Oh my god, Detriel is such a pussy! He wants to talk all the shit, but he doesn't want any of the shit talk back because he can't fucking take it, alright? This guy is like the worst Rust player of all time. The only guy, like the only reason this guy made a Rust server is just so the people who talk shit to him, he can ban them because they, fuck them, right? You know, it's only okay for him to be the asshole. Fuck you, Detriel. Like, I don't know where you get off doing these things, but... Whoever, whoever you have to deal with in your uh, in, like in your life, all right. I feel bad for them. I'm sure that they can be great people, but I feel bad that they have to deal with somebody who, even if they have a, a different opinion, he says, "Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, I don't want to deal with you." You know, fuck you. All right. Let me tell you that much. All right. You, there's no way that you are any position of management because you can't handle other people's opinions, all right? I can tell you that much. I'm in the fucking school of business, and let me tell you this much, I've been an intern for a fucking multi-millionaire company, all right? And I've worked with the fucking CEOs of fucking Franz Bread and shit. And it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous that this guy likes to think that he's the shit. I'm almost sure that this guy has got some kind of problem going on in his personal life, and he's taking it out on people on Rust, all right? Because there is no other reason for him to be this rude and this mean to somebody who's genuinely trying to work with him. And I've been nothing but that. And when I did make a mistake, I owned up to it. And they're telling me, well, you gotta take the high road and just let it go. Like, that's not taking the high road. Like, if I were to just say, like, oh, I insulted this guy and just leave it there, that'd be me taking the bitch route. I, I ain't no little bitch, alright? And the words like, Casey Mo, fuck those bitches. I ain't no pussy, alright? Like... For real, like, if I were just to leave it there, like, I insulted this guy and I didn't mean it, that'd be fucking stupid. I'd be the biggest pussy alive, you know, bigger pussy than Detriel over here. I made a mistake, and I said, Detriel, I'm sorry. That wasn't right of me to say that about your kids, alright? Because I'm sure your kids can be fantastic people. And that's the thing. This guy has got such a little fucking pride. Like, his pride is so fragile that he can't fucking take that hit to be like, you know, maybe I was wrong. And that's ridiculous. That's so fucking ridiculous that this guy has got the fucking audacity to come over here and tell me I'm on a fucking high horse. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And that, you know, that I fucking, I can't admit that I'm wrong. 
when I've fucking done it. I've done it, and I've done it in a video addressing it entirely, defending Debt Trio's opinion, but he doesn't have the fucking balls to pull out the evidence that I've been asking for to prove that I initially did nothing wrong because he can't handle the truth. This guy wants to lie to himself and he wants to lie to his friends so his friends back him up, and that's the truth. I'm sick and tired of Detriel lying to people, and I'm sick and tired of people believing what Detriel has to say. It's biased. The people who do believe Detriel, the people that are saying uh, Detriel's in the right ear, their opinion is frankly biased. It's it's so much bullshit. They're like, well, Detriel has no proof you did anything wrong, but I believe him. That's bullshit. That's like saying, you know, I don't have any proof, but I like you believe me. Experience doesn't equate to anything. Hitler was in office for quite a number of years before he did anything wrong, all right? There's that's a good point there is that you know, it doesn't it doesn't mean that they can't do anything wrong. For example, uh, it was like Jake Ponzi, the Ponzi scheme guy, the guy who invented the Ponzi scheme. He had been doing that for so many years that nobody even know like noticed until the Wall Street crashed, all right? Nobody knew because it had been shed to light. That doesn't mean that he wasn't a crook before. He definitely was. He's, he lied to his friends about it and they thought that he was legitimately a good person. And that's the thing, Detrail's a liar. And a lot of you guys don't realize that. He's lying and that's ridiculous. I don't have the evidence because he does and he's withholding that evidence. If he has evidence to say that I'm doing something wrong, he should put it up there. I've asked him, I asked him, I told him, if you have the evidence, you put that shit up and I will make an entire video explaining why I'm a dickhead, you know? And that's, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, people are like, I believe Detriel, when in all truths, the only side that really makes sense if you look at the evidence is my side. Like, Detriel, I see where he's coming from for banning Colty and Tinty. That makes sense. That's a matter of opinion. I do believe, you know, I believe they didn't do anything wrong, but from his side, I, I can understand why he banned them. It makes sense, okay? But when you look at me, there's no evidence to say I did anything wrong initially, so I shouldn't have even been banned initially, and I went through the steps to try to be unbanned. I tried talking to him, and he blocked me. He refused to talk to me, which is bullshit, you know? Detriel wants to come over here, riding in like, ooh, you know, like, he insulted me. I insult you after you refused to talk to me, after you refused to even deal with me, even though I had been nice to you and I've been civil. And the thing is, it's like, he's withholding evidence that would be key to his argument, and I'm saying that that evidence that would be key to his argument actually favors me, and that's the reason he's withholding it. That clearly says something about Detriel. Why would he withhold uh, an argument, like, that would that would help him, you know? it's It doesn't make any sense, which is why I think a lot of you guys should be working with me here, or at least, you know, a lot of you guys do agree with me by the likes to dislike ratio, it's frankly obvious that more people do believe me, but it's fucking ridiculous that the people in the comment section are, are siding with Detriel on this one. You know, Detriel has the right to ban me, but I don't think he should lie about it. I don't think he should just be honest. It's stupid. It's honestly stupid. And Detriel, I just want to say a few things to you. As a person, I don't think you're honest. I think you're a liar. Uh, and I think you need to work on yourself, personally. Because I don't know what's going on in your life, but you got to resolve that, alright? Because it's affecting you in the game and it's affecting other people the way you're treating other people is frankly uh, not all right uh, and i don't i don't think it's all right for you to be acting this way so fuck you detriel earn i think you're a fantastic lady i just think detriel is lying to you and i think some of the points that you made he has the right to do or the fuck he wants i think that's true i think he does but i do think he has you know he has the requirement just to be honest about it because if he isn't it just means that he's a dickhead and i don't even know why you would you know like why would you defend somebody who's dishonest that doesn't make any sense to me and then michael you brought up another good point that it's like you know me being in his home and he has right he's the right to kick me out at any time and i understand that he has the right to do so but the thing is it's like he kicked me out in such a way that was insulting to me and insulting to my my character and I think the way that he did so was dishonest and it was wrong. It wasn't like I was in his house doing nothing. I was adding to the community. I was building. I was getting in fights. I was having fun with people. You know, I was part of that of that group. It wasn't like I was chilling out there like fucking breaking pots, you know, and like pushing over his planter box. It's like, no. I was building that community on Bloodbane with the people that I had met. And I was having a fantastic time. So my problem with it. It's not that Detriel doesn't have the right to do this. He has the right to do this, but I just think he should be honest about it. So Detriel, if you're listening to this now, I just think you're dishonest, and I think you have no integrity. I don't, I don't know why, 
and I'm not going to assume anything, but, you know, I think you need to work on that because the lack of integrity that you show me is ridiculous. Uh, it's frankly, it's stupid. And I sound mad, and I kind of am, but it's kind of fun to be mad sometimes. So don't get me wrong, I'm a little salty, but it's kind of fun to get mad at times. And it's a good way to take it out, to kind of push it into a video and, um, you know, kind of voice my opinion. So once again, if you guys want to type, uh, you're a salty cunt, you're damn right I am. <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's just how I feel. Uh, and hopefully, you know, a lot of you guys can agree with me here. And, uh, you know, I, I try being nice, but I'm so done being nice because clearly being nice is not getting the point across to these people. You know, they, they bring up good points um, and I've addressed their points. I've, I've, you know, I've said your points are valid, but you should still not support him because he's lying and it's quite obvious that he is. So once again, you know, thank you guys for watching and, you know, I'm a racist glitcher. So later.